From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings at light, light with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In tonight's recording, we'll go over your monthly stimulus check and why you're likely to get more checks from those Democrats. Then we cut to the recon. Done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you under the fourth stimulus recon. Then we cut to the vote. And one of the votes may be done by tonight. Done by tonight? What happened? I'll go over the latest details of whether the recon's going before the bipartisan or whether the bipartisan will be done tonight. Oh my goodness, <laughs> things are changing very quickly. Then we cut to the stimulus which raises your benefits up a lifetime. And then we cut to the big money that viewers are getting, upwards of $32,000. It's a big night across the board and the exciting details is unfolding as Congress is literally in session tonight. I'll go over everything that's breaking and it's being heard for the first time on this big evening's Alliance. across the board almost, almost to the weekend and guess what a uh, congress will, will be in session this weekend they will be working to get this done and i will be here as well so same with me all weekend long with the breaking news and there's a lot tonight as well jump in the live chat and tell me how you're tuning in where you're tuning in from and how's the weather it's cooler here today and the sun was shining strong but the onshore breeze here in town market kept it cool in this four stimulus check update 2021 this evening we'll be going over the breaking news about those stimulus checks why the democrats are likely to give more stimulus checks then we cut to the recon done deal 3.5 trillion dollars of checks are coming to you and you don't care what checks are called so long as they're big enough and they're big checks in here we're going over the checks in this recording checks for seniors checks for workers and more then we cut to the voting and there is voting reportedly set for tonight on capitol hill is it for the recon is it for the bipartisan and when is the recon going to get done both are going to get done by the august recess chuck schumer represents i have the breaking details about that as well then we cut to fist stimulus which raises your benefits a lifetime this is for everyone for SSI and SSDI. And then finally, this. Viewers are getting upwards of $32,000 from this channel. By becoming a member, by becoming a viewer, by becoming a subscriber, they're getting big monies for rent, utilities, and more. $32,000 a person. I'll go over all the deliciousness in tonight's recording. And this is Evening's Allied, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel and more. I mean, in, the, in, in America, live in the morning and taped in the evenings. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto right after this video. Then we go into Sirloin tonight at 8 o'clock. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check starting right now. House of Senate, House of Senate. They both propose to give you stimulus checks on a monthly basis, but in a different way. Different amount of checks and a different uh, number of checks. Let's go over everything you need to know starting right now. House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. Senate proposal provides a stimulus check from July to December. Let's go over the payouts. $1,000 for the House per month after the first month of 2000. Senate monthly amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Deliciousness, $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. The pandemic is far from over, we now see. And with the pandemic far from over, Delta, Delta Plus, and now Lambda all at issue, the House bill would pay the full 12 months of checks, which would be 12 checks, which under the House bill would amount to $13,000. Let's compare that to the Senate? <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate, House of Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Who gets this for stimulus check? You do. Democrats represent that. If you got a third, you're getting a fourth. Single individuals, 75,000 less. Democrats represent, you're getting a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 less. Democrats represent, you're getting a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, 
did I say f- a married couple? Double it. A family of four, you're getting four, st- four stimulus checks, just quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, and more, you're getting a four stimulus check. Democrats represent as well. The four stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. And the four stimulus check it would be the same amount for adult dependents and everyone else. The four stimulus check, meantime, is not a waivable check. And I learned my lesson because I saw that check at the surf shop again. Oh, I said, hey, check, how you doing? Good to see you. I haven't seen you about a week. Uh, he was trying on the new wetsuit. Could got his, couldn't get his check hands in the suit. I don't know when checks got hands, but this one did have hands. Uh, got stuck in the suit. Say, hey, how are you? You're not waving back. You're still rude, check. Uh, but it's a check with waveable hands. <laughs> The second part of this video will be going over the Four Stimulus Recon and why the incredible news is there's $3.5 trillion of checks coming to you. This is a historic day and $3.5 trillion of checks is a fortune for American people. I'll go over all those checks. After viewers got $27,000 from Third Stimulus, imagine how many checks you're going to get from Four Stimulus with me as well. Then we cut to Fifth Stimulus as well. That raises your benefits up a lifetime, SSI and SSDI. But first, let's get some money, <laughs> and let's start right now. When I started recording rent videos, utilities, food, and internet a few weeks ago, I said I can get you $5,000 of rent, get a pen and paper ready, because I'm going to get you some rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more starting right now. And when I said I can get you $5,000 of rent, four to six months of rent, I thought that was the right number. I was wrong. I made a mistake. I can't get you $5,000. No, I can get you $27,000. Congratulations, Elizabeth. She got $27,000 as being a viewer of this channel, understanding that money is money, understanding that this is big sums of money available for her, and she pounced as a purple hawk. Mark got $25,000. Mark Nancy got $24,000 of rent. Richard, a viewer of this channel, got $22,000. Nisi got $20,000. And the list goes on and on. Pamela got $12,000 of rent. Carla got utilities and more. Tiffany got $13,000 of rent and more. Randy, $6,000 of rent. Jennifer, Cecilia, they all succeeded. When I talked about utilities, I said I can get you $300 for utilities. I was wrong again. I can't get you $300 for utilities. I can get you $7,000 for utilities. Congratulations, Nancy. Wow, what an incredible achievement for the Purple Power and you. Congratulations to you and your family. And Mark got $6,500 for utilities. Angela, $5,000 for utilities. When I talked about SNAP, I said I can get you four to $6,000 a SNAP. Uh, uh, did I get 5000 I did for some viewers, but here's what other viewers got. $18,000 for SNAP for Louis. John got 10000 and Nancy got $5,000. And finally, for the people who got multiple sums of money from this channel, let's see their big numbers. How big are they? Here you go. Whoa, $32,000 Nancy got for this channel. Mark got $32,000. Nisi got $32,000 from watching the videos of this channel, understanding this is money for you. We're not going to sit around and track a check. We're going to cash a check. And they cashed $32,000 of checks because of this channel. And this is our light. This is what we do. In spring of last year, EI deal loans and EI deal grants, we're supposed to pay you a check within three days. It's what the law said. But when they didn't pay you in three days, we didn't set out and hold a calendar say when, when, when. No, we started cashing checks. I stepped forward and got EI deal loans approved, a record number. $25 million of EI deal loans were approved because of this channel saving people's businesses, their homes, and also their employees' homes. But then, in fall of 2020, second, same problem. Second stimulus checks were not coming, so nothing to track. But I stepped forward and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent. Tyrone, his family of four out of Boston. Fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars for rent. It was incredible. Paid all their rent to the new day, to the new year. But now we're doing it again. The only difference is you're getting bigger sums of money than we've ever seen before. So get a pen and paper ready. I'm going to go over that big money for you right now. I'm going to show you different places which have different eligibility. Reach out to each of them. If you get a no, reach out to the next. They also have different pots of money. Listen for those keywords because those keywords are critical, apparently, says viewers, to gain those big pots of money approved. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. Your state hall, your state house authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, Mitch's popularity fan club. <laughs> there you go. They don't know Kristen Sinema's fan club either. 
<laughs> and congratulations, Tim and Linda, who got this wonderful pot of money. If you got the money as well for rent, post and live chat or utilities. Let's cut to some snap. And Louie, snap to it because you got $18,000. Incredible, great news. Ling Ling got it for herself, her son, and her mom. And Gail got it. What is snap? It is money for food. Eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four out of Hawaii can get upwards of $16,000 a year. Well, why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. We're killing it. You're killing it. Post your snaps, success stories in the live chat as well. We're only 10 minutes of this video. We're flying. And we've gotten $27,000 for rent, $8,000 for utilities, and $18,000 for snap. And let's talk to the next part of the money. It's the refund check coming back from your states due to co computer error and an overpayment of unemployment benefits. Where? Direct deposit. When? Can you track it? Yeah, contact your state. Say, hi, state. Where's that check due to overpayment of unemployment benefits? And can you track it with a computer that's plugged in? <laughs> it just sort of helps. And finally, the last refund check is the one coming back from IRS. Margaret got it. Cod got it. Michael got it. When is it landing? This month. Can you track it? Yeah, you can. And guess what? It's a waveable check. Don't tell Mitch, he'll be pissed. <laughs> the latest wave is 1265 The direct deposit started July 14th, and the May paper checks began July 16th. There's a latest refund. There's a wave of checks every week. Before we continue, here's a personal message. If you're on the live chat and have not posted your success stories for rent, utilities, food, and more, post it right now because the spirit of this channel is people helping people. And when you post your success stories, whether it's $100 or $10, you are doing one, three wonderful things. Number one, you're inspiring other people to get the big sums of money. So when they see so many people getting all these great sums of money, and they see your achievements as well, then they're inspired to go get the money. Number two, when they see Art Sullivan get three items, and Nisi and Elizabeth and Nancy get three items, that inspires them to get multiple items. So Mark only got two. <laughs> he only got two and got 32000 So Mark, you know, get to, get to it. Get that third one. <laughs> get to 40000 Just kidding. And then it updates us about the numbers. All right, let's cut back to that unemployment benefits. How much, where, when, and why? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits congratulations you're getting direct deposit in the mail otherwise in the ch in the mail box when this month can you track it yeah go to iris.gov and do a transcript search 70 percent of the time it'll reveal the results of what you thought the tax return you filed and the taxes you paid and it'll also reveal sometimes stuff you didn't want to see like um when uh, Mitch McConnell was on Star Search and he sung that lullaby to Chuck Schumer, was it Slave to You by Britney? Or, and did he have the outfit down as well? <laughs> Bad visual, I know. Uh, and then over reveal the refund check again back from IRS. Can we top that? We can, as we go into the second part of your fourth stimulus update, starting right now. Done deal. The fourth stimulus recon is a done deal. The Democrat caucus senator members have met twice in the last week and have agreed to pass the recon. They've agreed to pass it and agreed to pass it at a $3.5 trillion price tag. These are historic checks for you and the American people. Bernie Sanders fought for these checks for nearly a generation. So you should be very grateful for his service and the incredible checks you're getting. Imagine the viewers got $27,000 of checks from third stimulus, which was substantially smaller. And now fourth stimulus will be $3.5 trillion of checks for you. Boy, get ready for the big money payouts that I'm going to get you as Purple Hawks under four stimulus. How did they get to this point? They had an enormous recon originally that had roads and bridges in there, not passable. So they took the roads and bridges out, shrunk the recon, and those roads and bridges went into something called the bipartisan. And now the bipartisan, the roads and bridges, and your money, the recon, are both passable. We had that confirmation of a conservative publication op-ed weeks ago, a few days ago that said the higher the price tag number was on the recon originally, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. By allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon, roads and bridges put in the bipartisan, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller. There you go. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. Well, they made each other passable because what happened after that? Now, both items of legislations were passable. And guess what? Leader Schumer confirms both of them will become law by the August recess. Wow, it's incredible great news. Can we top that? We can. As the progressives, we're really trying to get a perfect number. They shrunk the recon and then they blew it back up and they got that number at $3.5 trillion. 
representative of Elon Omar said, the recon has to go as far as we want it. You got it, Elon. 3.5 trillion. Congratulations. And representative Richie Torres says, we have to have a larger recon. You got it, Richie. 3.5 trillion. And the Progressive Caucus was meeting with the White House since daily to ensure the recon went big enough. They got it. 3.5 trillion. Well, how did they get to the spot? By protecting the recon, because the president told them to protect the recon because everything in it is just progressive checks for you. Schatz and Jalapal confirmed the messaging, with Schatz saying the White House told him they considered the progressive priorities in the recon their priorities. And the allegiance between the president and progressives has been very clear in the last two weeks, very clearer than even before. We started the week with no eviction moratorium in place, with the president saying, the courts are not going to uphold it, I'm not going to continue it. But the progressive lo progressives lobbied for it, and Cori Bush, Democrat, first congressional district out of Missouri, St. Louis, had a sit-in on Capitol Hill as a progressive, and it worked. We ended the week with the president saying the complete opposite. Okay, I don't care about the courts. I'm going to extend the eviction moratorium. Done. Deal. So what is a recon? What is a bipartisan? What are the words you need to know and everything across the board? This morning, one of my favorite broadcasters was on air, Andrew Ross Sorkin, and he said, well, how about Senator Ted Cruz? Can you talk about that $3.5 trillion uh, uh, infrastructure? <laughs> <laughs> the 3.5 trillion, Andrew, is not the uh, recon. It's not the infrastructure. 3.5 trillion is the recon. It's not the infrastructure. So let's go over the terms so you understand why one is often being confused with the other. Recon is not the infrastructure. 3.5 trillion is not the infrastructure. Let's go over the details starting right now. Recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called the budget bill. The price tag is 3.5 trillion. The people you'd see quoted in an article about it is a Bernie or a AOC. Bipartisan, on the other hand, is not your money. That is roads and bridges. That is the bipart that is the infrastructure. Price tag 1.5 trillion or less. People quoted an article about it are Chris and Sinema, Ron Portman or Mitt Romney. Okay, that's pretty easy. So who writes a recon and how do they write it? So the recon is written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. Some confused, one confused viewer overnight said, I heard the Republicans are voting against the recon. Are we in trouble? No, they were never going to vote in favor of it. It's only Democrats voting in favor of it, all 50 of 50, with a tie-breaking vote with your VP. Now, who writes the recon? Actually, it's written by subcommittees. Actually, House subcommittees is the lead author, with the Senate subcommittees helping them. And under the Constitution, the subcommittees are delegated different subject matters. So House Ways and Means, stimulus checks. House Ways and Means, unemployment. When those House subcommittees are done, they combine their pages and send them up to shock. So let's say Leah Schumer receives 10 subcommittees, 10 pages, 100 pages. He puts a big S on it. And as for um, salty, <laughs> sugary, so what? Schumerish. No, for Senate, and that's your Senate reconciliation bill. But before then, we have an emoji, not bill yet. In fact, we don't have the recon. And that's where Congress, that is what mainstream media and myself agree, that we do not have the recon in, on, in, on our hands yet. And until we do, we don't have it. So if you hear someone say, I haven't heard of this, the reason why you haven't heard of it is because the recon hasn't been debuted. In fact, there's no congressional requirement that they show you what they're doing, voting, voting against, adding or subtracting. And when that recon finally debuts, it's going to get modified. And I'll explain later in this video how it's going to get modified. Modified. But for, for now, here's what you need to know is that the recon is not bill yet. And um, it will become bill. And it's coming up in just a second. But can we top that? We can. As Jalapal recently wrote Schumer letter saying, Chuck, call the vote on the recon. Well, guess what? He finally is. The voting results on the recon will be within days. And that letter was signed by Jalapal, by by, but signed by 12 House Democrats, part of the 100 plus, yes, 100, who wrote the president letter saying they're going to be giving you monthly for stimulus checks. Whoa, that is a wonderful promise. You've got to keep these people their promise, Purple Power. Can we top that? Yes. As seven members of that House Ways and Means subcommittee, recently wrote the president letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly for stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Monthly? Yes. And they're on that House subcommittee I just went over. Purple power. you got to keep them to their promise. Push, 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 and have them keep their promise. Multiple stimulus checks. Can we top that? We can, as the president recently did it. He went overseas seven weeks, six weeks ago to have a global to have a ceremonial signature, but the real signature happened a few days ago. And this is a very confusing, boring, exhausting thing to say. The global minimum corporate tax rate minimum. Ugh, oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs>
<laughs> Why is this great news? Because it's not in the recon. It's just confusing. It doesn't belong in the recon. Number one, easy to write the recon because it ain't in there. Easy to call the vote on the recon because it ain't in there. Easy to vote on the recon because this confusing thing is not in there. And easy to pass the recon because this confusing thing is not in there. And can we top that? We can. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video tonight, we have a lot of breaking news happening tonight. In fact, there may be breaking news after the time of recording, but before, but while the show is airing. So I will be in the live chat if these developing details are unfolding. I'll show you what's happening tonight, what's anticipated for this evening. It could go into the late, late hours of the night. It's a lot of breaking news as one of the two paths, Recon and Bipartisan, is calling for a bell vote. <gasps> what? When did this happen? Yes, I'll go over everything you need to know. I'll go over which one's going first, which one's going second, the dates and everything you need to know across the board. We'll also be going over why the bill is going to get modified and we'll go over the Votorama when it's happening and the Senate amendments when they're ending. We'll also cut to Fistimus. A lot happening in the final 15 minutes of this video. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you have problems getting rent, utilities, food or internet, you try it yourself but you can't find it, no worries. The viewers have your back. They're the purple power uh, volunteers. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. Look for the emoji. It'll send you to the community page. It's news.la.com forward slash community. On the community page, you can see the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them for the help for utilities and food and internet and more. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with a huge breaking news on tonight's Evening's Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Evening's LA, direct from Santa Monica, with a lot of breaking news across the board about the vote reportedly set for tonight. Tonight? You mean the amendment vote? No, I mean a bill vote. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> it's coming up in just a second. And also for stimulus. But first, subscribe. The 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. You don't want to miss a video across the board. There's all going to be a lot of breaking news over the next seven days. Stay with me for this weekend. If there was ever a weekend you do not want to miss, it's this weekend. Because there's going to be a lot of dramatics and a lot of voting happening this weekend. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video. Two, 3,000 likes. And consider Consider becoming a member. Let's cut first to fifth stimulus, which is what the president promised during the campaign trail, but did not deliver. And then when he was in the transition period, he also promised again, and he didn't deliver it again. So now the Senate and House Democrats are taking care of it for you. When? In something called fifth stimulus. This is this fall, and fifth stimulus is the SSI and SSDI reform that you were owed. This SSI and SSDI reform starts in a legislative effort in September to a vote by November in your bank account by November, and then the benchmark being applied in December for January's benefits. Step one, 
they'll raise your benefit limits up. Then step two, they'll remove the asset limit. Step three, they'll add inflation. They'll remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. Who is this for? You. <laughs> if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, or SSDI, or SSA, I said that, or multiple beneficiaries. <laughs> <laughs> then they're going to apply the new benchmark. When is that? In December. What is it? It's going to be inflation. Where is it going? It's going to be transitory. Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, said that inflation will be transitory. And what did he say? December. Oh, my goodness. That's exactly when they apply your benchmark. Transitory means a temporary spike. And that temporary spike is in December right when they apply your benchmark. We heard a lot of breaking news today that signals that perhaps my inflation rate is correct. I've been saying about a 5% transitory rate number in December before it comes back down. What was the breaking news today? We had the jobs numbers, we had trade imbalances, and yesterday was job creation. Job creation number yesterday on Wall Street shocked America. It was horrible. So the number of jobs created in private sector really, really low last month. Not good. This is number of jobs newly created for people to take and it would, they just created very few jobs. Then today, we have the trade imbalance number horrible, show we're importing a lot more than exporting, and the number continues to get worse. And number three, the big surprise was the unemployment number. It was really good. The second number was excellent. The first number is showed the number of new jobless claims at 300,000 plus, best number since the pandemic. You remember in all the recordings every Thursday morning on this channel for over a year, 250 something was the pre-pandemic number for new jobless claims. Now we're in the low 300s. Great news. We're up uh, upwards of 1.2 million during the pandemic during my recordings outside. But the second number is really the great number. It's the continuing job of claims. How many people in America are unemployed? The number plummeted to 2 million. 2 million. I mean, it was just a few weeks ago, it was 8 million. It was just a few weeks before that, it was 18 million. I had talked about this number in the context of stimulus, and this is a very, very, very low number. This signals that maybe we, that you, you want the stimulus to get done right away, because remember, um, all the White House team and the, and the, and the Fed team says stimulus is based, based upon how many people are unemployed, and the number is shrinking really quickly. So you want that stimulus to go out at ASAP. Uh, so I think that the inflation rate still will stay 5%. So first, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they'll apply the benchmark of 5%. And that will raise your benefits up a lifetime, not just next year. It's incredible great news. Then they're going to move the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s loss, it says you can't have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you'll be able to have some teal. No, not teal. This ain't teal. This is blue. <laughs> you'll be able to have some blue in your hand. And then they're going to move the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law. This is you can't work and stay on benefits. And then finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to do the pair dance, whether you're getting married that day or, you know, marriage pair dance in the wedding ceremony. <laughs> Viewers like Robin Sandy will be get married. It will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits. Finally, will there be a fifth stimulus check? There will. It will overlap. It will not overlap with your fourth. Lastly, if you're in the live chat and you notice people who are purple hawks and you don't have one, you need one. And yesterday, this channel added over 200 purple hawks in 24 hours. Astronomical. Thank you for all the wonderful new people. Welcome into this family. Purple hawks understand what I've been messaging, which is checks or checks. Who cares what the cash is for? If it alleviates my bills, I want it. These people got over $20,000 of their bills paid for. Because they got $20,000 of their bills paid for, then they have $20,000 available for them to use on other things. They don't have to be spending their money on that item because they got that item paid for. So Purple Hawks understand, go for the biggest sums of money you can. When second stimulus passed, I said I can get you a $600 stimulus check. Uh, excuse me. When second stimulus passed, I said there was a $600 stimulus check. I said, who cares? I'm going to get you $6,000. I did it. I got Tyrone $14,000 for his incredible family out of four out of Boston. And then when third stimulus passed, people were talking about the $14,000 stimulus check. I said, yeah, great, but I'm going to get you $14,000. I didn't. I got viewers $32,000. $32,000, $23,000. Consider becoming a Purple Hawk because you'll understand that money is money. And daily I deliver to you in the evenings a breakdown of all the big money under third stimulus. All the big money that is application-based for you to get. And when you see that, you'll realize, wow, this is money I should get. Like the Purple Hawks in the live chat. The place to join is under the video where it says join here. Join today so you get all the big information to get tens of thousands of dollars as a Purple Hawk.
And with that, we go into our final 15 minutes of the file seven, starting right now with so much breaking news, but I want to go first with the recon. So we go one item at a time. First, the recon. Done. Deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. The Democratic caucus senators have agreed to pass the recon. In principle, the vote is still pending in the next few days. The recon. They've agreed upon the price, and they've agreed to do it. All Senate Democrats. Bernie Sanders called this a historic day for the American people. It is. You should be ecstatic because this is an astronomical amount of checks that are coming to you. As I got you twenty, thirty thousand dollars under third stimulus and twenty thousand dollars under second stimulus, I'll be giving you every penny under this fourth stimulus as well. Here are some of the items that are in the fourth stimulus recon, but even though we don't have the final bill. Free school, meals, free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, immigration reform checks, greener farming checks, money for election checks, internet checks. They're going to have fortunes given to local cities that can provide you free internet. Then clean energy checks. And here come my checks for my workers and checks for my seniors. Checks for my workers. Um, checks for uh, uh, workers, checks for independent contractors, checks for unions, and then checks for my seniors. Checks for seniors like lowering the eligibility age, checks for Medicare expansions, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. All right, let's get over to the roads and bridges. Roads and bridges, we have a bill, and we also have amendments. They've been voting on the amendments the last few days, and those amendment results are in. They've basically been failing because they were trying to derail the roads and bridges over passing. Remember, you have to have the roads and bridges pass because the president wants that and your recon. Well, the great news is that those bipartisan members have locked arms and said, we're going to block any of these amendments from derailing us because, you know what? We need to get to the finish line. And it's great news across the board. Third, Ron Portman says that the by that the roads and bridges will be uh, ready for a vote by Friday night. Was he right or was he wrong? Well, I was saying he was a little bit too premature that maybe a few days later, in a second, you realize you're going to get a major update and you're going to be shocked when they're calling the vote on the recon bill. Then um, also. Here's what happened as well. Schumer, the president, Pelosi, Bernie, and A and also Jalapal all confirm your recon is going for a vote first. So let's go over all the deliciousness starting right now with the president making the confirmation that you have to send him both pieces of legislation, not one. The infrastructure bill, this is the president talking, as I voted on the the infrastructure bill, if only one comes to me and that's the only one that comes to me, I'm not signing it. I have to have both in tandem, both the recon and the bipartisan. Then he says, I'm not just signing the bipartisan, forgetting about the rest, the recon. I propose a significant piece of legislation, recon, and they're both equally important. Okay, that is the president. Then Schumer confirmed today, yesterday, and last week that the recon is going for a vote first in the Senate. Ted Cruz appeared on broadcast news this morning and said the bipartisan is going for a vote first for a vote first. I sort of scoffed when I heard that because Chuck Schumer said no, the ro- the recon is going for a vote first. But as to the House of Representatives, not the Senate, but the House, Nancy Pelosi makes it very clear, do not send me from the Senate the roads and bridges first, or it goes in the garbage can. You must send me the bipartisan, you must send me the recon first. Nancy Pelosi had an emergency meeting with Chuck, with uh, Bernie Sanders last Thursday and confirmed that to him. She said there won't be any bipartisan unless we have a recon bill done first. Plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have the recon bill passed first by the U.S. Senate. Great news there. And Jalapal confirms the same. We did a meeting of our poll of our members, Democrats, and the overwhelming majority of the caucus said they're not going to vote for the bipartisan without the recon pass. Great news. So now let's go over to what Chuck Schumer said today. And also, then we'll go over all the breaking news about what's being called for vote tonight. Chuck Schumer said today that both bodies of legislations will be passed by the August recess. Same thing he said yesterday, same thing he said the day before. He, in fact, named the recon by word. He didn't say pass this time. He actually said the recon and the bipartisan will both be passed by the August recess. He must have been watching the channel because I mentioned that a few days ago, how some viewers were sort of anxious that he just used the word path and not recon. He actually said recon today. So that was great news. He also has the benefit of something working in his favor. What is it? The rep- the the senators who have been doing amendments on the roads and bridges are exhausted. The Senate has been in session the longest run of over maybe two decades. And this is a very long session. It's been a long series of days. And they're working 16-hour days and they're elder statesmen and they're exhausted. They have no more energy to keep on doing amendments to the bipartisan. All right. So now 
I have been saying, do I think Chuck Schumer is going to get it done by the August recess? I said maybe a few extra days, maybe a few extra days. Now, here comes the really, really interesting news today. And it's breaking tonight on Evenings LA. A conservative publication, which I have to preface it that way, put out a series of news articles late today, and the news articles contradict each other. When I read them, I got confused. When I read them again, I still got confused because they don't line up. They're contradictory. There's some certain things in there that make sense. I'll explain to you which ones make sense. I'll tell you which ones I'm confused by because you're probably confused as well. The articles say from conservative publication that the bipartisan bill not the amendment, but Bill, will go to a final vote in the Senate and the U.S. Congress tonight. <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, excuse me. That's what, that is what um, Ted Cruz said on Morning News, and I scoffed at it, saying, no, because everyone says um, the recon goes for a vote first. Um, what did Ted Cruz say on broadcast news? He says they're going to call for a vote on the infrastructure, roads and bridges, tonight, and then they'll start on the recon starting tomorrow. What did the conservative publication say? The same thing. Did it have a quote from anyone? No, it didn't have a quote from anyone. Chuck never said this. This did not come out of Chuck's mouth. So is this sort of just conservatives talking to conservatives? Maybe. I don't know. I read it and I said, um, this is really weird. Number two, uh, we have the confirmation that the recon will do the Votorama in the Senate first. It'll start in the Senate, do the Votorama, then go to the House, and then to the President if nothing's modified on the House side. So this is fascinating. So what are the Republicans indicating tonight they're doing? This part I understood. It said that the Republicans said, you know what, I'm tired of doing amendments to the roads and bridges. Just cut it out. Um, we're fine with this roads and bridges. Save your energy to pile on massive amendments to the recon, which we don't want. This is Republicans talking. This I think I believe. This makes sense. So the Votorama would get a lot more activity from the Republicans than the bipartisan has gotten as to amendments. That makes sense. So then the quote then said that there was another article in the same publication that said, well, the infrastructure, the roads and bridges will get done, you know, tonight or tomorrow. And then, um, and, and then they'll get to the recon after the recess. What? That's not what Chuck said. And in fact, their other article on the same website had Chuck saying, no, I'm getting both things done, you know, before the August recess. So very, very confusing, very, very confusing set of legislation, literature. What do I think? I think they're absolutely going to go both get done by around a day or two after the August recess is supposed to start. I think, believe the Senate's going to stay in session. Um, and Chuck is not going to let them go. And then Nancy or, or um, Steny Hoyer in the House is going to keep the bring the House back into session. And then we're going to vote on and we get done. I, I do believe that's going to happen. But here's what I want you to know. Here is laser focus on this. <laughs> is back in late June... Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer both said, hi, I'm Chuck Schumer, and I'm going to get this done by July 4th. And now this week, now five times, Chuck Schumer said, hi, I'm going to get this all done by the August recess. Understand, this is Chuck Schumer saying this, not me. This is not L.A. saying this. This is Chuck Schumer. So when Chuck Schumer says, I'm going to get it done by July 4th, that's Chuck Schumer's talking. I'm not there. I'm not, I'm not gray. I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't talk with a New York accent. <laughs> I don't wear those sort of muddled green suits with the baggy pants. I, that's not me. Uh, he makes the representations. It was going to be, be done by July 4th and didn't fall through. He makes the representations. He's going to get done both the recon and the bipartisan by the August recess. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. It's not my representation. I'm just reporting the news. So please don't take words out of context. All right, now let's go to the bills. And this is what's fascinating is that if these timelines are lining up like they're supposed to, then the recon bill could debut literally in the next 48 hours. When it does, or before it does, we have an emoji, not bell yet. But when it does, the recon bill, here's what you need to know what's going to happen. The Democratic House members and the Democratic senators have all said, I'm modified it. Yes, this is great news for you. Why? Because the people who have had their hands on the recon over the last few weeks are only a few people. They're in those House subcommittees. And the House... Uh, and the Senate Democrats have said, I haven't had it. I haven't had a touch on it. I haven't been able to modify languages. When I do, I will. Because we got 50 Democratic senators and we have over, over 100 House Democrats who said, you know what? I'm going to look at it. If it ain't right, I'm fixing it. 
And that's great news for you because if the legislation, if the legislation, the proposal, the bill coming out of the subcommittees is wrong or imperfect or needs to get modified, it will. If you were with me under second stimulus or under third stimulus, you see a lot of times when there was something not in there and we fought and we got it in there or they had to grow the number, or shrink the number, or change the eligibility. Things change because this is what legislators do. So when you see the bill, do not say, it's done, I'm done, thank you. No, because they'll modify it. They may modify it better, they may modify it worse. It's like what happened this week with Cori Bush. We started the week with no eviction moratorium, expired. President saying, I'm not touching it because of the courts. And we're ending the president with saying, I'm protecting you and I don't care about the courts. Wait a second, that's the opposite of what he started the week with because... Representative Bush and other progressives pushed him to change his mind. That's what caused, that's what happens when people make changes to legislation. Meantime, we're going to have Senate Voterama amendments from the Republicans. They're going to try to block the, uh, block the recon. What I haven't said in a few weeks, but I think it's sort of obvious, is that you're not going to get a single Republican to vote in favor of the recon. You don't need it. You just need every single Senate Democrat to vote in favor of the, the, the recon. And every single one has not once but twice tell Schumer they are. A lot of details across the board. So while this show was recorded um, probably about two hours before airtime, about two hours before airtime tonight... While I'm in the live chat, I will watch and see if the voting has started on the purported bill for the roads and bridges. And if it has, I will be in the live chat and updating you throughout the night. Finally, it's important for you to know that this is a loving family. And as a loving family, you're seeing changes come into the channel. And those changes will grow the channel over the next few weeks. As a channel, we grow as a family, as a family that helps one another. Continue that spirit of loving support for one another. Always congratulate people. Always treat people with respect. If someone likes something, then enjoy their excitement about something. Um, and with that, there's so much happening across the board. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. And then Sirloin at 8 o'clock tonight. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you to part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video, 2 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Stay informed, stay focused. Stay with me all evening and all weekend long because trust me, there is going to be a lot of fireworks. And stay with Ally. Thank you.